Hey, Pisces star seeds, it's Sweet Spirit Mystic. Wow, I've missed everyone. Okay, so we had a new moon in Sagittarius last night. Other things are happening. Um, so let's see what the energies are all about. Oops. Oh, wait, hold on so that doesn't burn the table. Okay. So, how's everyone been? Let's see what's going on in the energy. Let's start with one of these oracle cards, this archetypes. Guide, the wild unknown archetypes. Let's see, a message for Pisces, please. Rest, drink water. If you need to fast, do that. Or just eat you know, pretty cleanly. Less processed things. Okay, let's see. So quite a few came out, but the one that's on top is agape, which is another word for friend. So let's see what these other ones are. We have the judge. We have the riddle. Haven't pulled this one before. And then we have the one. Ooh, I like saying that, the one. Okay, so let me put them out in order from bottom to top. So we have the one, the riddle, the judge, and agape. So let's just quickly go over these. The one, non-duality, one love, unus mundus. The one is both the energy that unites all living beings and our capacity to sense this ultimate union. Okay. Someone that serves, loves, accepts, and resonates. On the shadow side or the darker side, ignores, omits, excludes. Okay. The unus mundus is a circle representing the unity of existence. Is it possible that the beginning and the end of all things is love? Okay. It is also said that om is the primordial sound of the universe and that all other mantras are born from it. Simply imagining this possibility will activate the one. Three, 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 as I looked up. Okay. Wow. Powerful. And then we have, <coughs> excuse me. Then we have the riddle. Just 43. I think L means four. 43, the riddle. The puzzle, the question, the mystery, a great awakening or aha moment. Also, manipulation, deceit, and trickery. Who am I? The only way to work with the riddle successfully is to not work. Okay. Ponder these cones. The coin that's lost in the river is found in the river. If you meet the Buddha, kill the Buddha. Okay, I, I don't know. When the riddle is present, one must stop searching for the right answer. It cannot be found and ultimately is not important. Ooh. 
you are thinking too small and literally about the situation. Okay, and then we have the judge, which is number 14. In tarot, I'll have to look up what that card is. Apologies that I don't have it memorized. <laughs> Okay, here we go. The judge, the critic, the diplomat, the advocate, discernment, advocacy, right action, compassion, critical, punishing, unforgiving, wall building. And then we have agape. going to take a minute. Okay, agape. Devotion, unconditional love, service, reverence, honor, joy. Also, spiritual bypassing, righteousness. Ooh. Okay. If you put something higher than yourself, at the center of your spiritual practice. How would this change your approach? Mm, okay, so the one, everything's connected. The riddle, the great mystery. Who am I? The judge, compassionate or critical? Agape, friend. What's at the center of your universe? Let's see. I saw this really cute thing in anime. When they're at a shrine, they clap twice and say their prayers, calling in the spirits. It's like a bell. Call them in, but you also clear the energy at the same time. It's a sound. Again, remember OM. Om, that sound, how it feels in your chest. The beginning, the spark of time. All right, that's the three of wands. So this is talking about something in the future, something that you're learning, um, progressing towards. We have the high priestess. The high priest, the high priestess. So it's this ascension. Looking at this card, Agape, it's like seeing everyone as a friend. Everyone is part of you. If you are the one, they are the one. I am the one. We're all the one. We're all part of something bigger. Temperance and the star. So this viewpoint heals so much also with the lovers. If there's something in, in your partner, in your family member, in your friend, your loved one that you don't like, look at that part of you. The judgmental, critical part. Where can you be more compassionate to yourself? Okay, lovers. <laughs> this is what creates this stability, this four of pentacles energy, is realizing everything that's inside of us is also outside of us. Everything that we are asking for, everything that we are given is something that we're asking for. So, you know, when I pull tarot cards, it's not just for the collective, it's also for me to look at myself. Okay, so let's go, let's clarify the three of wands. What's happening? What's the future bringing? Because the three of wands is about progress. Okay, page of cups. 
pages are messengers, cups, water signs. So Pisces, you are a messenger. I, I often, <clears throat> almost all the time, view the page of cups as Pisces energy. Okay, we have the five of swords. I'm not gonna pull these out, but I'm gonna show them to you. The five of swords and the king of cups here. So the five of swords are those things that we, hmm, argue with ourselves about in our mind. The king of cups is how we feel about things. What's buried in there, okay? So you're making progress. Everyone that you've drawn into your life is a part of you in some way that needs balancing out. Four of Swords. This is about taking a pause. So Three of Wands, Four of Swords, 11, 11. So Four of Swords, 11, 11, two, two swords on each side, okay? So this talks about with the High Priestess. You know what you know, and to let things unfold. Remember the riddle. Who are you? You are this High Priest, High Priestess. You know things. And rather than proving that you know things, you let things unfold. I don't want to say it specifically, but it might be this feeling inside of, I told you so. Okay. What is this? Temperance. The judge. I mean, because no one wants to be preached to. You show what you believe by how you live. Wow, we've got justice here. So balancing out energy with temperance and the justice card. Karma. We are all receiving and giving energy at all times. Because of that, there are cycles Things balance out. These scales balance out. Giving and receiving. If you've ever watched what happens to a scale, you put a little on, you take a little off in order for it to be balanced. It's a constant process our whole life. So, you know, sometimes you gotta put a little bit of that dark side in there. Sometimes you need a, a bit more light side. 1333. It's not about being critical. It's like, hey, sometimes you need a little bit of sweet to combat the sour. If anyone's a chef out there or enjoys cooking, you know what I mean. If something's a little bit, um, what's that? Yeah, too, too salty, you have to use something sweet. You're looking for a balance of flavors. So balancing out energy, it's positive energy and negative energy together. It's not one or the other is good or bad. That's the terms we use. But the night isn't better than the day. The day isn't better than the night. We need all of it, just like we need rain. Okay, the star. So, Page of Pentacles. There is an opportunity coming your way. Look for it this week. You've planted a lot of seeds. 1444. And the lovers and the Knight of Pentacles. So, 
It's this slow and steady progress. Things come together slowly and steadily, but it comes together in a harmonious and balanced way because you're always observing yourself. So five of swords, the chariot, seven of swords, king of cups. So do your best to move away from anger. Skepticism, defensiveness, aggression, frustration, criticalness. What else? Annoyed, provoked kind of energy. Just see what unfolds. Bitter, humiliated, let down, betrayed, resentful, disrespected. All of these, they did that to me. Feelings. Just get to that acceptance. Yep, that happened. You know what? I'm upset. That happened. Recognize it, but don't cling to it. Okay, because there's some, some energy that's releasing and what it's turning into is this feeling of friendship, agape. It's a certain type of love, unconditional love. Not just for yourself, but humanity. Okay. Um, actually, yeah, let's go. Page of Cups. And that's what you teach people. And you teach people this by doing it. You're not shoving it down anyone's throat. You're not up on a soapbox. You live it. You embody it. It's through your example. Wow, the lion, through leadership. Okay, this Four of Swords, High Priestess. <coughs> Letting things unfold. We have victory. Wonderful. You've done the work. You've been doing the work. You're that bee. You just go pollinate all the flowers. However you do that is healing. Don't let people judge you. All right, we have ancestors. So this is something that's come to pass already. You've done it. Your ancestors have done it. This is all done unconsciously because when you embody it, you don't know that you're doing it. It's just part of you. You're not talking to your arm. Oh yeah, I have an arm right here. Here's my hand right here. No, it's just part of me, right? So this is part of your being. Accept it. Accept all your feelings as part of you. Look at them. Yeah, sometimes I have a temper. Sometimes I can curse like a sailor. Sometimes I'm insecure. Sometimes I'm jealous. Sometimes I'm happy. Sometimes I'm sad. It's like, yeah, I do all those things. That's all different parts of me. All right, justice and temperance and the judge. Everything is balancing out in your favor. Wow, I love this. Abundance. Remember, all of your needs will be met. So if there's been something lacking, it'll come in. Remember, hoarding is dangerous because it's stagnating energy. So remember, definitely... Pay it forward in some way, energetically, um, monetarily, if you can, because it always comes back to you. And do it in a balanced way. This isn't performance giving. This isn't, okay, let me buy the most outlandish or the most expensive gifts. Mm -mm. You know what's a gift? Your time because that is priceless. And once spent, you cannot get it back. 
the star and the ace of pentacles guide I'm just gonna take this one your ancestors are guiding you but it's also yeah detox there's a detox happening seer so pay attention to everything because it will show you who is worth your time what is worth your time does something make you feel better or does something make you feel worse mm -hmm. okay and you know what? If you have anxiety, you will have it forever. Accept it. You don't need to numb it. Just be like, yeah, I'm going to have a hummingbird heart forever. And I love that part of me. It's not pushing it away. Or if you're more melancholy, you know what? I can go there and be sad. And you'll find the right people that celebrate you, where things balance out. We have the birth card, this egg. Remember, egg is a circle in a world. You know, it's roundish. But things come out of eggs. Easter eggs, you know, babies. nest eggs maybe you're going to have a child that's going to be really special and maybe you needed to have that child with someone that you didn't really like or in a situation that you wouldn't have preferred but there's a reason for that this uncompassion or ooh, uncompassion why did I say that seer there's something you know uncompassion what am i trying to say the word's not coming so pisces switch that viewpoint be compassionate there's a reason why things have happened the way they have it might seem like a catastrophe but there's a reason for it. All these things that you feel, all of these parts of you, they're parts of everyone else. There's a lot of love. <coughs> but lately in our, in our world, there's a lot of self-hatred. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of fighting. unsportsmanlike conduct, rudeness, disrespect. How are we doing that to ourselves? Because that's why we're doing it to others. So take some rest. You're this phoenix rising. Choose who you want to become, how you want to interact with other people. This spark that's inside of you will help light others' sparks, other people's sparks, so that we can all decide who we want to be, a good human. You know, fix yourself up. Take a shower. <laughs> Wash your face, brush your teeth, floss. Mm. You know, change your clothes. Put on something nice. Because when you feel good, you look good. Do it for yourself because you respect yourself. And you notice people would also start respecting you too. If you act like you don't care, others will also act that way. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's do a mudra card to close this reading. Oh, the mudra of the wheel of life. Let's see. Eternal change, it will pass. 
Whatever you're going through, it will pass. Okay, so it looks like this. You put one finger like this, thumb and index finger together. Okay, like that. And the thumb and index finger of the other hand, right? And what that does, it, it touches. Is right? Hold on. I'm doing it like the picture. Okay, so let's do it like this, just for ease. So two of these, one touches your middle finger. And if you're going through a hard emotion, a hard feeling, a hard situation, give yourself a minute like this. Close your eyes, take deep breaths, let it go. Accept it. Move on. Formulate a plan. Feel something different. Have gratitude for something. Take action. Don't get stuck because there is a lot of really powerful energy happening. And if you're the one and I'm the one and everything is connected, you can change the outcomes in your life by how you behave. If you start saying please and thank you more, guess what? So will everyone else around you. If you stop yelling, guess what? So will everyone around you. If you get up and take some action, guess what? Everyone else will start Johnny on the spot too. Oh, wait, what's going on? Maybe I need to be doing something too. Okay, let me do the laundry. <laughs> Clean up something. Show by example. And you know what? You can direct it too. All right, Pisces. You can say, hey, can you help me with this? Instead of being mad and being like, you never did it. Hey, can you help me with this? Or would you mind, blah, blah? Hey, could you empty the dishwasher for me? I'll load it. Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm going to cook. Would you mind cleaning up since I cooked? You never know. And watch people start acting nicely again. All right, Pisces, I've talked a lot. So I love you. I'm grateful for you. Happy Thanksgiving if you're in the U.S. Um, I'm thankful for this time that you spent with me. There's other places you can spend it. All right, Pisces, I love you. We'll see you soon.